Hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sechamba Jacob. All right, so in this video, we'll try to uh, look at a mixture in chemistry. So what is a mixture? Before we go into details, let's understand that this is uh, lesson one, okay? So we need to understand what a substance is so what is a substance in this case if i ask you to define or to say something about a substance what is it that is coming in your mind so a substance is a kind of matter so this is just a kind of matter that has uniform properties that has okay uniform properties so i'm not going to talk or to go into details on uh, what a substance is uh, I'll just give uh, an example of a substance, okay? And uh, an example that I can give of a substance is water, okay? I like using water. This is an example, e.g. water, because we all drink water. That's why we have decided to use this example as a substance, okay? Now, under... Uh, a mixture or a mixture itself to define it okay so we we'll say a mixture okay when it comes to a mixture we'll say it contains two or more substances two or more substances. I think this makes sense, provided I've given you the definition of a substance right here. So this makes sense. So when we put uh, two or more substances combined together, they form what we call a mixture. And an example of a mixture can be water and uh, sugar so when these two are combined they form what we call a mixture and this is what we are talking about um now let's talk about uh, something that is uh, very interesting here. Let's say you've got uh, a ball right here. Let me put a ball. This is a ball and it contains this substance right here. There is only one kind of uh, a substance in this ball. Are you going to call this substance a mixture? Are you going to call it a mixture? What is your thought about this? No, this will be called pure substance. Why will it be called a pure substance? This simply because there are no contaminants, no contaminants, no contaminants, or no impurities. There is only one substance which is contained here, and this substance 
makes it be called pure substance because there are no contaminants. And what do I mean by saying no contaminants? If we have got two different substances, we will say there is a there are contaminants there because we've got two different uh, substances. Now, the mixture will look like this. We've got that red substance blue substance right here so now this will be called a mixture reason being because we've got different substances in it let's talk about types of uh, mixtures so under types of mixtures we've got uh, two types of uh, mixtures we've got uh, what we call homogeneous So we've got what we call heterogeneous. Now let's try to look at these two uh, types of mixtures in details. We shall start with uh, homogeneous. It is uh, a kind of mixture which is uniform. It's uniform. You can't see, you can't see the different components, the different. components what do I mean it's a mixture which will just look like this okay this is a mixture which will look like this but there are two or more different substances inside here I don't want you to confuse this to this. This is a pure substance, but this one here, it's a, a mixture. An example would be water and uh, sugar. Can you see sugar in the water? Not really. So that is all about it, homogeneous. Okay, we now go to heterogeneous. This one is the opposite of uh, homogeneous, not uniform. you can see the different components an example of this one will be right here
you are able to see different colors. So this is, uh, it may be water and uh, sand. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. This has been lesson one for you. Kindly join me in my next video. Lesson two. Where I'll be talking about uh, separation or separating a mixture. Thank you and bye-bye.